Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the May 2016 Grade 11 12 Contest Question 18. The question is A standard bicycle that can't roll backward without turning the pedals is held upright by a friend, but is, other, but is otherwise freely movable. One pedal is at its lowest position and the other at the highest position. What happens if someone standing beside the bicycle pulls the low pedal toward the back of the bike? The following options refer to the picture. Okay. Now this is a sketch of the bike where this is the front wheel, the back wheel, or front and back tires, the front gear wheel, back gear wheel, and the front or the pedals that are mounted on the front gear wheel. Alright. Now, the complicated motion of the pedals in relation to the ground can actually be split up into two simpler motions. And the first one being the circular motion of the pedals in relation to the bike frame, and the second one being the uniform straight line motion of the bike frame in relation to the ground. Okay, now this arrow will represent the vector for the velocity of the bike frame in relation to the ground and these two arrows will represent the vectors for the velocities of the bike pedals in relation to the bike frame. Now I drew this arrow much longer than these two arrows because the absolute value of the bike frame in relation to the ground is much higher than the absolute values for the velocities of the bike pedals in relation to the bike frame. And this is the case for two reasons. Now, the first reason is that on a normal bicycle, the front gear wheel is larger than the back gear wheel and therefore the back gear wheel must rotate faster than the front gear wheel. And also, since the pedals are mounted on the front gear wheel and they go the same, they rotate at the same speed, and also the back gear wheel is mounted on the back tire, that means that the back tire or actually rotates at a faster speed or faster than the bike pedals. All right, and that was the first reason. Now, the second reason is that the radius of the back tire is longer than or larger than the length of the bike pedal or the pedal bars for the bike. So for those two reasons, the surface of the back tire moves faster in relation to the bike frame than the bike pedals or the pedal bars in relation to the bike frame. All right. Now actually, the velocity of the surface of the back tire is the same as the velocity of the bike frame in relation to the ground. Because if the back tire were to make one full rotation, well then the bike itself would just be traveling the distance of the circumference of this back tire in the same amount of time. So again, now therefore we approve that this vector for the bike, the velocity of the bike frame in relation to the ground is much bigger than the velocities, the absolute values for the velocities of the pedal bars or the pedals in relation to the bike frame. Okay, and now let's look at the options. <clears throat> so, option A, the pedals start turning clockwise and the bicycle moves to the left. Alright, so let's see what happens when the pedals start turning clockwise. Well, when the pedals start turning clockwise, well then that means that the front gear wheel and the back gear wheel must then also turn clockwise and therefore the back tire would also move clockwise. And then after the back tire would move clockwise, well then the bicycle would move in to the right. But here it says it would move to the left, so option A is just plainly wrong. And for the same reason, option D is also plainly wrong because 
when the pedals start were to start turning counterclockwise, so it would be going this way, then the front and back of your wheels would be going counterclockwise and same with the back tire. And then the bike would be moving in the left direction instead of the right. So therefore, options A and D are both plainly wrong. Okay, now let's look at option B. Well, it is the same sentence as option A, except it says moves to the right instead of the left. Well, yes, if the pedals were to start turning clockwise, then the bicycle would move to the right. And also for option C, if the pedals were to start turning counterclockwise and the bicycle moves, then the bicycle would move to the left. But now we actually want to see what will happen when someone stands on the ground beside the bicycle and pulls the bottom pedal to the left, we will see if it turns counterclockwise or clockwise and in which direction. Okay, so now let's look at B. The pedals were start turning clockwise and the bicycle moves to the right. Okay, so now this is the this is when the, or the pedals would be turning clockwise. Well then the bottom pedal, since that is being pulled, it would actually be moving to the left in relation to the bike frame. But the bike frame would be moving much farther than that in relation to the ground. So actually the bottom pedal, when turning clockwise, it would be moving to the right after finding the sum of both of those vectors. Okay, so for B, when the pedals start turning clockwise, it actually, the bottom pedal turns to, moves to the right in, in relation to the ground. Okay, and for C, the pedals start turning counterclockwise and the bicycle moves to the left. Well, again, instead of now going in this direction, then the bottom pedal would be going in this direction, so it would actually be going to the, moving to the right in relation to the bike frame, but the bike frame would be moving much further in relation to the ground to the left, and therefore when adding or finding the sum of those two vectors, the bottom pedal would actually be moving to the left in relation to the ground when turning counterclockwise. Okay, so for option B, it is bottom pedal is moving or to the right, so forward, and for C, the bottom pedal would be moving to the left or backwards. But now let's see what would happen when, again, the person is standing on the ground right beside the bicycle pulling that bottom pedal to the left. Okay, well, if the bottom or the person was pulling the bottom pedal to the left and somehow the bottom pedal would be turning to the right or moving in the right direction in relation to the ground, well, that would mean that the bike would be doing work in the opposite direction of the actual pulling force, since it is pulling that way. And that would be pretty much creating energy from nothing. So that wouldn't work. So actually, when the person is pulling this to the left, then the, <clears throat> the pedals would be going counterclockwise and they would be moving to the left, also in the same direction as the pulling force. And that exactly corresponds to option C, where the pedals start turning counterclockwise and it is moving, bottom pedal is moving in the left in relation to the ground, and the bicycle would also move to the left. And finally, so option C works. And finally, for option E, the pedals do not turn and the bicycle does not move. Well, this is not the case because we know that the vector for the bottom of the pedal, for the bottom pedal, is shorter in length than the vector of the bike frame in relation to the ground. So therefore, option E does not work and the correct option is C. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caributests.com.